talking you through the SeaTech D250SE. Now this is a battery to battery charger which is used in place of a split charging system in vehicles fitted with smart alternators and or lithium batteries. This particular unit is a great unit, we've been using it for years, it's very tried and tested, it's proven, reliable and it's got a lot of feedback. SeaTech are a great company. We would use this in a vehicle to charge up the leisure batteries from the vehicle's engine whilst we're driving and then also it's going to separate the batteries so that when we run our leisure batteries down it doesn't flatten the starter battery. This one should be used in vehicles that have a smart alternator fitted. You can't use a traditional split charging system in this case. This particular unit is very useful and very neat because it has a built-in MPPT solar charge controller that is suitable for panels of up to approximately 200-250 watts with a maximum voltage of 23 volts on the panel. You can check your panel's data sheet to find this information and see whether it be compatible. If that is the case, all you need to do is take your solar positive from the panel and you connect it to this terminal and you take the solar negative and you connect it to here. It's a nice simple installation and it saves you having a standalone controller making a more compact installation. The SeaTech battery to battery charger also comes with a temperature probe so it can adjust its charging output in warmer conditions to prolong the life of both your battery and the charger itself. We also supply our SeaTechs with a full wiring kit which comes up labelled and ready for installation with the battery terminals, negative chassis connection, all of the wires you're going to need for your installation too. These two wires coming out of the SeaTech, you have the black wire which is used to program which type of battery you have, either if you've got an AGM battery you're going to connect it to the negative, if you've got a lithium battery you're going to connect it to the positive, if you've got a standard wet lead acid battery you're going to connect it to nothing, you're going to leave it with this blanking end cap on. The red wire, now that's the ignition connection, this must be connected to the ignition circuit of the vehicle and that tells the charger when to turn on and when to turn off in vehicles with a smart alternator. This charger is also suitable for vehicles without a smart alternator although it's not essential to use it in that case. If you are using it in a vehicle without a smart alternator you just leave this red wire also disconnected with the blanking cap on and install it just using the terminals on the top here. I really hope this has been helpful and thank you ever so much for watching.